Ella McKee to kick it away for Weber State. Montana to receive, and this game is underway. And that'll be fielded inside the five-yard line, up over the 15 to the 20. Ellis Henderson brings it out to the 20-yard line. It, it, it takes a while to regroup. Challenge in trouble, and he's going to be brought down at the 15-yard line. The loss of five on the play, so three and out for the Montana offense. Well, this is what Weaver prefers to do. They would love to play in a four-man front, which they've started this game, and then try to bring pressure. Not always cover zero, but a lot of man-to-man -man and really bring pressure, and I think we'll see that early. Jadrian Clark this season, three touchdowns, but six interceptions, five last week against Southern Utah. So here's this first down play, flips it out there. They're gonna go double pass, and they have a man wide open at the 25-yard line. All the way down inside is Corey Thompson, the fullback. From the 14, Clark under center. Handoff right up the middle, a huge hole down to the five-yard line. Eric Wilkes takes it inside the five, and that'll be... They're kicking out with the left side of the line and sealing the right side, and that hole, Brady, maybe you and I could have run through. Watt State is really stepping up to that challenge. First and goal from the three-yard line. They'll give it to Wilkes again, and he walks in standing up. Touchdown, Weaver State. Man, I'll tell you what, that's the second hole. I mean, there's nobody there. They're blocking the second level. The safeties are being blocked, and, and a free pass to the, to the end zone. Well, and we talked in the open about red zone offense, and here's a team. 25, Montana threatening here. Challenge. Rolls right, now looks back left, throws out, and that is complete at the 15-yard line. And a first down for Montana. <laughs> well, Calhoun out of the backfield, you can see this young kid. One of the coaches that's really developed that play. Challenge into the end zone, touchdown Montana. Wide open for the score, and Roberts puts six up for Montana. Yeah, it's a good, good design, a little play action, and you're right, Coach. Great look off. You, you're not going to be able to see it on the replay, but hard on him just having his poise and staying in there. Third down, challenge. He's got Jamal Jones on the slant and a first down for Montana at the five-yard line. First and goal from the five, win in the backfield. He gets the call. Now bounces outside, picks up a block by Jones. Touchdown, Montana. Wow. What a block by Jamal Jones. You know, they've got him wore down already, uh, Grady and, and Chris. Well, you talk about being an unselfish football player. Look at that right there. A receiver, he's not wondering why he's not getting the ball thrown to him down in the red zone and wanting touchdowns. <laughs> he's going to be an unselfish player and make a great block. Not even. Here's Clark rolling to his right. Feels pressure, pulls it down, and he's got a first down and more. Inside the 20-yard line to the 18 and a first down for the Wildcats. Receiver split to the left. Clark looks across the middle, has got a man at the 10. Down inside the five, stretches for the end zone. And yeah, they give him the touchdown as Livingston caught the ball at the 10-yard line and then got it into the end zone on a nice run after the catch. Well, the Grizzlies bring pressure, and Clark does a good job of finding the crosser and then watch the effort by Livingston. Challenge looks, throws, and this one is intercepted at the 30-yard line to the 10-5 touchdown Weber State. Cordero Dixon steps in front of that and takes it back for the touchdown. You know, he looked at, uh, he didn't look anything off there. He, uh, Dixon read his eyes all the way and got a great break on the ball. Yeah, he really did. And what a great play by Dixon. I mean, this is just fantastic. Here's the replay. Challenge does look left, come back, but you can see a little pressure. And it looked like Roberts was continuing his route down the field instead of stopping. But watch the shot he takes. This forces him mm. to get rid of the ball. They've used pressure. Opportunity for the Grizzlies to force a three and out. Clark got plenty of time. Now he's hit and brought down. Guess who? Yeah. <laughs> Tyrone Holmes. Number 10 on the season. He leads the country. He came into the game with nine sacks. There's his nation leading 10th. Works the speed rush around the edge and just does a great job of running the hoop and finishing it and bringing Clark down. First one of the day. You talk about great effort. He's uh, yeah, he's getting held, he's running the hoop, and he's just determined he's going to make that play. The 15-yard line, second and 14. 
Well, and this one is going to be blown up as well in the backfield, and Wilkes is taken down at the five-yard line. Whoa. Well, great coverage. So now it's fourth and one from the nine, and it appears Montana will go. Calhoun in the backfield for Simmons. Simmons throws and incomplete at the five-yard line. Weber State brought pressure. They get a hit on Simmons. It's still a really good throw, but better coverage by the corner. I like field goals. So here we go. As Simmons looks, throws, and this is incomplete. Two times now, two in a row on fourth downs, folks, and Johnson, the corner, comes up big. I think that is a great football play twice now. Second and five from the 44. Simmons looks, throws, got Roberts wide open. 15, 10, 5, touchdown Montana. Wow, what a play. Get Decisions which aren't going to show up in the stats, but he chose not to throw a couple balls, which could have ended up in disastrous results with interceptions, and that kept the drive, you know, live to play the next down. He did that 95-yard drive led by some great quarterbacking. Plenty of leg on this one. Pushed it right. And it's no good. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Simmons going to be brought oh. up. Loses the football. And that is recovered by Weber State. I mean, you can't take that. You know, he's unblocked. I mean, you got, got an outside defensive end that nobody puts a hand on. Straight away kick. Keala McKee to win it for Weber State. Good. What a heartbreak that yeah, is. It is. Yeah. Celebration is on for Weber State as they come into Washington Grizzly Stadium and beat Montana in overtime 24 to 21. For him, his signature win so yeah, far in, in his second season at, at Weber. That's what I was